Welcome into this week's edition of the Player Profile Series, joined by David Austin Axoy. You know, your first name is David, but everyone calls you Austin. How'd that stick with you? Uh, so, since I was born, my parents have always called me Austin. Uh, my dad's name is David, so I think just to have no confusion in the house, uh, they stuck with Austin. So was it one of those things when you were growing up as a little kid, you know, you go into first grade or whatever, and the teacher says, oh, David Axoy, or you always like, it's Austin? Yeah, so uh, pretty much every time I start a new class, I have to correct the teacher, which is kind of a process, but uh, once we sort it out, it's all, all good. All right, so we'll go with Austin the rest of the day here. You're from Buffalo, New York. You played two years of prep school hockey at Trinity Pauling School in New York, and then one year a junior in Rochester. How'd you end up at Lake Forest? Uh, so I, st I reached out to Coach Kelleher about halfway through my uh, last year of juniors, and uh, he came out to Rochester during Christmas, but I was actually injured, so I was out for that game. So he ended up watching me online, uh, just on through film and whatnot, and uh, kind of said, there's no guarantees for you here at Lake Forest, but if you come in and prove yourself and work hard, then you can find a spot on the team, which I ultimately did. Yeah, you know, you talk about that. No guarantee when you came here. Last year you played in eight games and you had one assist. This year already 11 points in 16 games. How have you elevated your game this year? Uh, I think it really comes down to confidence. Uh, coming in last year, I mean, I had to prove myself, and maybe I was a little more focused on that than, than getting out there and putting points on the board. But, um, yeah, I think it really comes down to confidence, and ultimately getting more play time just keeps building your confidence. And, you know, one of the biggest things for you this year has been your consistency, whether the team is performing well, ups and downs that this team has had this year. You've been well, you've been playing well in the last couple of games. You've had five points in your last seven games. How have you been able to maintain that consistency on the ice? Uh, well, I've told you this before, but, I mean, just getting into the right, right places on the ice, trying to find scoring chances, uh, trying to keep a level head throughout the game. Uh, try just try not to focus on maybe the score of the game and a bad situation, but just focus on doing my part to help the team ultimately win. Yeah, you know, you're also a part a member of the golf team here at Lake Forest. How do you balance that between playing golf, hockey, going to class, and a social life, all in that aspect? Um, I actually prefer having something to do after classes. Uh, kind of get my mind off school and golf and hockey are obviously a big part of my life, so it's something that I I, I enjoy a lot. So uh, I prefer it. All right, so we'll segue into this here. You live in a suite here with five of the other sophomore hockey players and then one of the golfers, Ricky Schmidt. What's that been like this year? Uh, it's been great. Uh, last year we would always have to travel to each other's room to hang out, and now we're just all there all the time. So uh, it's been nice, and we, we usually don't get too sick of each other, which is good. You guys try to be nice a little bit to Ricky. You know, he's the only guy in there that doesn't play hockey. Yeah, yeah, he, he can... He, he can hold his own in there. He, he does all right. So, yeah, Ricky's a good guy. All right, that's good to know. So who, you know, you look at this team, who's the biggest clown on this hockey team? Um, I would have to say Louie is probably the biggest yeah. clown. I mean, n not really a surprise to anyone. Yeah, but we've gotten that one a lot. This yeah, year. He's, he's the clown on the team. All right, so then if you're stranded on an island with one person on this squad, who would you want it to be and why? Um, I think I'm going to go with Tyler O'Neill here because he's very versatile. Okay. Uh, he's known to be one of the most versatile players on this team and uh, just in life in general. All right, so, you know, you look at your, your, your time here at Lake Forest. You're about two and a half years through your time at Lake Forest. What's been the best part and the most fun here at Lake Forest College? Um, Lake Forest College as a whole is great. I mean, I like the small campus environment. Uh, I kind of get to know everyone. Um, and just getting close with all my teammates has been really good, and um, I just enjoy the school a lot. All right, awesome. Well, that's all I got for you today. We wish you best of luck this season, and good luck. Thank you very much. Thanks, Kim. This has been another edition of the Player Profile Series. Thanks for watching.